Hello again and welcome to another Nick Beck Swatch Reviews. Um, NBeck9622 is my uh, nickname I guess, that's what you call it for YouTube. Uh, just like to say hi to everybody uh, again before I start. Can I say thanks to all my new subscribers, to all my existing subscribers. Thank you to everybody for um, all your kind feedback, all your kind words. Still much appreciated. Uh, I'm kind of over the, the big hurdle now, which is the 500 subscribers mark. So I'm still kind of chuffed about that. Uh, I'd like to say a couple of thank yous. Uh, first one, this is a, a new watch, uh, Casio G-Shock here. And again, a big thank you to watchshop.com for providing me with this. Uh, it, obviously, I, I did actually purchase it from them. They didn't give it to me for free. Uh, so I'm still kind of working on that. But uh, thanks, Watch Shop. Yet again, great service, great watch. Uh, this is a particularly great watch. And um, yeah, great customer service and the best price online. So, you know, got to be honest, got to tell you that. Um, and the second thank you is to my good friend now, the Bombardier. Um, he's another YouTuber and uh, I could murder him because he's now got me <laughs> into the Casio G-Shock bug. And uh, now I'm spending too much money on Casio G-Shocks instead of Seiko's or Casio Edifice. But uh, yeah, hats off to him. He's If you get a chance, have a look. I will post a, a, a link up for you. Uh, have a look at the Bombardier. His videos are fantastic, really inspired me. And uh, yeah, big thank you to him. So um, moving swiftly on. Like I say, here we have a, a new Casio G-Shock. This is from the, the sort of fairly new Casio G-Shock skeleton range. And as you can see by the watch, it's kind of see-through with a, a see-through band and, you know, little accents of orange that you can see through the, the semi-transparent case. But I, I'll move on to that very soon when I've given you some stats. So this is all resin with a stainless steel back. This is the Casio G-Shock ga dash 11 ols dash 1 aer uh, you've got a lug to lug on this at 55 millimeters uh, case width at 51 millimeters and according to the casio g-shock website it's 16.9 deep but um it doesn't really look like that but but there you go it's uh, quite a light watch, uh, typical Casio G-Shock, it's 72 grams. Uh, you have an accuracy of plus to minus 15 seconds per month, which is uh, typical of a, a quartz watch, I guess. Um, I, I won't show you how to use all the functions because, as I always say, that's for somebody that's much better than I am, but much better equipped than I am. But it's got um, five alarms. It's got uh, a battery power of approximately two years, a uh, world time of 300 cities. We have a backlight. Uh, it's 200 meter water resistant. So, you know, typical Casio G-Shock, great build quality. And, and like I say, I, I, I saw this on the watchshop.com website, caught my eye. I think it was, hundred pounds down to 75 with their 25 percent discount so thumbs up to them um and i i just fell in love with it and i, I thought wow that's that's really cool i've already got a couple of other g-shocks funny enough i've got another skeleton which i will review later which the the bombardier kind of put me on to so um without further ado and i promise i'll only say that once or twice throughout the video let me show you my new casio g-shock so bringing it up to the camera, as you can see, once we get the light off the uh, the glass there, you got a mineral glass, you got these fantastic bright orange hands, you have a digital and analog display. And if I just switch it around there, I've, I've taken some pictures, which I'll put up soon of the detail of the dial of this watch. And if I bring it up to the camera, and turn it slightly look at that detail it's just colossal isn't it so like i say you've got digital readout at the top and another one at the bottom there is a backlight which is fantastic yeah, i really really like the backlight on this one it's 
bright orange glow, which again, I will post pictures up unless I've already done it. Um, at the nine o'clock there, you have a sub dial and you've got um, a tiny little orange hand there. And if I bring it right up close, I like I say, I will, there we go. I will actually post some, some macro shots of the dial because I just think it's amazing. So you've got your adjust button on your top left, we'll call that A, and then B, we'll call that just there. We have the reverse, if you're changing the time, uh, or the um, world cities, and down the bottom you have forwards, so you flick backwards and forwards through the different cities there. You've got your mode button, which is just this little guy here, and like I say, get a load of that dial. That is just awesome, isn't it? It's semi-transparent outer case, and you can see the orange ring around the, the bezel there. And you've got these little, and I don't know if you can pick it up in this light, but these the indices are transparent, clear plastic. <laughs> There's just so much work gone into this watch. It's, it's just fantastic. It really is a great watch. So you've got your thousandths of a second stopwatch. Um, there we go. Split reset timer, start stop of your stopwatch and shock resistant written on the six o'clock there. Casio WR20 bar, which is, oh, that rhymes, so fantastic. That's your, um, your water resistance. You've got G-Shock and it's kind of embossed in the case and then protection at the bottom and as you can see and i've posted a picture up of the outer bezel with the mode because you can't really see it in this light the, the different words that you've got adjust mode forward and reverse there um turning the watch onto the side you've got these textured big orange buttons and you've got your six screws these are to hold the bracelet on which i don't actually think they do because it's got pins you got stainless steel back and like I say you got pins just inside there to adjust the bracelet or you may you may have to take the uh, the screws out to do that I don't really know I'm certainly not going to do it because I like the bracelet or the uh, the rubber strap so flipping around again bring on to the light there we go so you got exactly the same the other side so it's a nice symmetrical watch going back to the face if you look at the center and that's probably a good way of doing it actually is to catch it in the light you can see almost like gear cogs with these drilled out hands these hollow hold hands which i think are absolutely great i might be a bit of a sad old man but um that's it's just such a cool looking watch so going down the strap there you've got a lens of focus a semi-transparent resin strap you've got a nice big metal g-shock double pinned clasp and flipping it over there i think it says casio there and flipping the back you've got all the different holes to to set the resin strap i think maybe because it's a skeleton strap is a bit hard for the focus to catch it so there we go and it's it's all kind of smooth texture you've got these kind of notches or or concertina effect in the the strap like i say it's a very light watch unbelievably comfortable and i will show you some wrist shots uh, i actually like to wear my watches quite quite loose and this one is it's like i say you almost forget it's there so um yeah that's that's it really it's it's a bit of a difficult one with this because there's not really much to say apart from most intricate dial I've ever seen on any watch and so much detail going on there. And the best way to do it is to actually take a look at the watch yourself, you know, maybe buy it, have a, a closer look at my, my macro shots. Um, and like I say, you've got this kind of PV, whatever it is, resin case and strap, lovely sign G-Shock buckle nice big thick keeper there and if I can just show you when you actually feed it into the let's flip it around this way there you gotcha. when you 
slide it into the keeper. Oop, let's just ignore that for a second. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Ah, there we go. You can hear this, and I should be very, very quiet so you can hear it. Yeah, I can't hear it. But there's little notches. Ah, you can see them in the light there. Little notches to stop the keeper from moving around, which is actually really nice because it keeps the keeper flush against the strap and you don't get that kind of awful sticky out bit, which I really don't actually like, which seems to be quite a way forward with some watches, but not really for me. So, as I say, that's the new Casio G-Shock. Um, please leave your comments and uh, anything you need to say. Please subscribe. Uh, please like or dislike and you know you're very welcome to put negative feedback I, I'm always happy to listen to both sides of the story and as you like and you know that that's fine by me so again a, a bit of a quick review probably me talking too much but it gives you a good chance to see the the whole watch so thanks again for watching thanks again to all my subscribers to everybody that's watched my videos Special shout out to the Bombardier for getting me into these Casio G-Shock watches. Um, and yeah, thanks. Thanks, everybody. And uh, see you next time.